Hello guys, Kieran here, and today I'm just going to bring you a very quick update video and a tiny little review on a software called Ghost Mouse. Uh, but first of all, I just want to tell you about, uh, well, I just want to do a quick shout out, shout out, I can't even speak now, sorry about that. <laughs> I just want to do a quick shout out to my cousin, um, Stu, his channel's The Mysterious Champ, he makes gaming videos. Um, as you can see, they got his channel here. He's got, let me just have a look, he's got 36 subscribers. Uh, so if we just go and sub to him. Uh, yeah, I've got 592, so, and I'm 600 soon. Thanks for subbing, uh, subbing me. But, you know, just go and sub to him, because, I mean, his videos are far much better than mine. I mean, they're totally different videos, like, type, but, you know, his, his are really good, so. Let's go and check him out. Um, yeah. Anyway, the next thing I want to show you is, um, Ghost Mouse. Uh, it's here. Ghost Mouse is a macro for a com macro for a computer. Um, obviously for computer. Um, a macro is basically a piece of software which repeats actions. So uh, let me just tell you one disadvantage of this. I'll put it on the side in an annotation or whatever. Um, the one bad thing is you can't use the keyboard, so you can only actually use the mouse. Um, now that could cause some problems depending on whatever you want to do. But uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how it works. And a little trick I've found, because basically you record something. I'll just show, I might as well show you now. Anyway, so if I want to record something, just hit record. The mouse goes to the top left of the screen. Now, I'm just going to, well, I don't know what to do. I'll just move my mouse around the screen. You can see it moving around. That's me doing that. Now, I'm going to click stop. Okay, now if I click play, it will do what I just did. Okay, see, so you, you can see it's moving in a minute. Now it's probably my computer. See, it's starting to move now. I thought my computer was being gay, but anyway, yeah. See, it's moving. That's not me. That's doing it itself. And then it presses stop. But then it stops. Now, one thing is, if you want to leave your computer doing something for ages, it only does it once. So what you do is you uh, put your finger on your screen where the stop button is, and move the ghost mouse window over play. So it's where stop was is now play. So every time it clicks the stop button, it actually is hitting the play button. So if I click play now, it's going to do the crap in the corner, whatever it does. Then it will just move around the screen. It should go and click play. See, it goes and clicks play. And then, as you can see, it's going back to the start. And it will just repeat doing that. But, you know, one thing you can't do is use the use of the keyboard. But there is other macros out there, but they're like shit, so... I mean, this is free, so just go, you know, go on Google, put in Ghost Mouse, Media Fire, whatever, get from their website. I'm not sure what their website is. Just put in Ghost Mouse, and, you know, you'll find it. But, really, this is just for some little nerds and little noobs who can't be asked to play whatever they're playing properly. It's good use for, um, MRPGs if you're going to do crap like that. But, uh, yeah, you might as well just go and play the game properly. But I thought I'd just tell you about it anyway, you know. It's pretty useful. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you subscribe. Well, yeah. And go subscribe to the Mysterious Champ as well. I'll put a link in the description for his videos. They're very good. Just, you know, just go and check him out. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.